Wait, what? Um, we found a glitch with the BMW M4. I'm just gonna toss it on to see what happens. Oh my god, we broke the car. We fully broke the BMW. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's another week in Mexico, and this week, oh, this week is a special one. This week, you can unlock the VK Commodore, the Toyota AE86. If you did your homework, and last week, you went in and got a bunch of points, this week, you can get the brand new BMW M4. The ugliest M4 ever made. I'm sure that won't trigger anybody in the comments. Anyways, all you need to do is get 80 points in the entire season. I only need like seven more. Real quick before I do, Fortsathon shop for the week. I'll, I'll take the cool helmet, but that's all. I'm gonna go and bang out some more points so we can get that thing. I probably shouldn't have used a diesel for this challenge, if I'm honest. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Have I done it? I've done it! The BMW M4 is officially unlocked. That literally took me four minutes. The 2021 Pig Nose BMW M4 competition, 500 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque, and yes, it's got customization. We will come back to that in one second. I want to know if the average AR12 viewer likes this car. All right. Um, apparently the poll has told us 55%, 56% of people are wrong. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts. Boy, does it feel good to say that again. This is the BMW M4. For those of you who don't know, BMW actually kind of recently came out with the BMW M4 compared to like the M3 and stuff like that. This is the latest BMW M4. And ever since it was revealed, it has been extremely controversial because of that. From the rear, 10 on 10. From the side, 10 on 10. The driving, probably an 11 on 10. The front of this thing has got to be one of the ugliest designs BMW has ever come up with. When it was first originally shown off, BMW actually did a study and they found out one in five people liked it. I, I have something to say about this and people probably won't like it. For the purposes of this, I'm going to kind of group this M4 and the M3s together. When you look back at like the BMW E36 or even like the E46 or the E92 even, you look at those and go, wow, that was such a cool car. Specifically cars like the E36 or the E46, you're like, wow, that is an absolute golden era of cars. I think if you were to fast forward 30, 40 years, nobody will be saying that about this thing. The only reason I think this might end up being a popular car in the future is because I have a feeling that this is gonna be the last gas-powered BMW M4. We literally have the ugliest, most controversial BMW M4, M3 they've ever made, and it kind of sucks. Saying all of that, it's a really, really awesome car, providing you're not standing in front of it. Like I said, it's probably gonna go down as the best driving BMW M4 they have ever made. I don't want to spend the entire video just shitting on the ugly nose. I want to turn this thing into a cool car. What if we go for maybe an unconventional build? Maybe middle of S1 class. I think that might be a good place for this. Bone stock, we've got the straight six twin turbo engine. I kind of don't want to swap that out. We could toss in a four liter V8. Very nice. That's from the E92, is it not? And we've got a five liter V10. I'm pretty sure that's from the, uh, the, 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 the words M5. How is that so hard to say? And you've got a 2JZ. <laughs> we are going to make the best of a bad situation. V8 powered, naturally aspirated. I promise that, yes, we've actually got some customization for this. So we've got some BMW front end parts. It just says it's a BMW sport front bumper. Rear wings. Okay, we've got a couple of different options here. Nice little, almost like a swan neck rear wing. Forza 
arrow is gross, or we could run no rear wing at all. I really wish that was an adjustable rear wing, but I think for the purposes of this, we'll run it. It looks pretty good. Rear bumper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? I think that's going to be a hard no for me. Side skirts. Yes, we will go for those. That looks really good, actually. Like I was saying, let's go middle of S1 class so I can actually run semi slicks on this car. Let's go for some fat rear tires. 305 in the rear. We do actually have some engine space so we can bring our wheels out a little bit. Looking good. And in the rear, the rear's very aggressive. Okay. Then I want to get some upgraded brakes. I do really like the stock looking brakes, but we're going to need those for performance. Look, it goes from a 5.6 to a 7.3. I'm going to go for some race suspension. The reason I wanted to go middle of S1 class is I wanted to get a ton of weight reduction on this thing. 3,000 pound BMW M4. That is so nice. We wouldn't have any air conditioning, no heated seats. I mean, to be fair, BMW makes us pay monthly for that. So um, it's probably a good thing. Should I get an exhaust? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's just get a little bit of power upgrades and we'll be good to go. We're middle of S1 class. We're sub 3,000 pounds, nearly 600 horsepower. I think I might have just built the ultimate BMW M4. That's awesome. Last little thing I want to do. I want to check out the colors for this thing. So we've got white, silver, black, green, blue, and yellow. That is such a nice looking color. Okay. We've already got blacked out wing mirrors, blacked out rear wing. Do we go and black out our rims or should they be white? Or do we go baller status and go gold rims? Gold rims are such a statement. I love it. That's a cool looking car. Is that really going to be my thumbnail? <laughs> Let's go BMW M4. Away we go. A lot of wheels spin off the line. You'd kind of expect that from something with 600 horsepower. The interior is so sick. There's a big old BMW M5. I don't know if it's running the V10. The interior for this is nice though. For the interior, you will need to pay £8.99 per month to get access to all of it. That middle bit is paid DLC. That G meter, that's an extra £1 a month. I love the V8 engine that BMW made. Oh my god, it's sick. This is the perfect BMW M4 from this angle. This actually feels like something BMW could make. 600 horsepower, rear wheel drive, chuck a V8 in because do it before emissions come in and then sell them for 200K a piece. They would sell like absolute hot cake. Okay, like real talk though, I absolutely love the rear end on this. I love the rear lights. The design on them is super nice. The exhaust is actually so sick with the rear diffuser and my little rear wing, I'm actually really liking that as well. I only wish it was adjustable so I could actually mess around with the downforce, make the rear end a little bit more grippy. Honestly, overall, boof. I think if the grill was nicer for this thing and BMW didn't charge a monthly subscription for the heated seat, this would be one of the best cars ever made. I'm fully gonna go out on a limb and say that. I kinda wanna make this thing go off road? Should I go back to the stock engine and then go all wheel drive? I don't know if it's going to work, but we can see. I think A class might actually do this even better. Go for rally suspension. It now looks like a tank. And then I'll just give it a little bit more horsepower. Maybe twin turbo. No, no, no. <laughs> so once again, it's not the fastest car out there. 530 horsepower, three and a half thousand pounds. Off-road M4. Since BMW actually makes this thing in all wheel drive in real life. It's not that unrealistic. Wait, what? The UK only gets the all wheel drive M3 and M4? Here in Canada, you actually see a mix of both all wheel drive and rear wheel drive BMWs. Some people will actually daily all wheel drive like X drive BMWs and some people will only drive them in the summer. So you'll see kind of a mix of both around here. But anyways, that paint job looks so so sick. Saying that, you know what I wish we had in this game now that we have this one? I know it was only announced a little while ago, but I really wish they also bring the estate version of the BMW M4 M3. I absolutely simp for estate cars. The Audi RS6, one of my favorite cars of all time. The E63 is just godly. And the new M3 M4 estate is just, oh my god, so sick. Come on, M4. Absolutely send it in the corners. This thing's got 
mega grip in A-Class. It goes beautifully. We're absolutely setting off the little G-meter here. Like I said, this car is just so sick to drive. It's just, you can kind of do anything when you get a platform that's this good. All-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, road racer, off-road racer. And I think I'm doing a good job showcasing that. Twitch chat's just like, it feels insane to drive. Bro, look at it. It looks awesome. It's so predictable. Give it a little wall tap. And a 360 across the line. That's a better way to finish a race in this car, actually. I think BMW needs to enter WRC. Wait, in real life, it has a mode that rates your drifting with stars? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's $10 a month. <laughs> Before I get into drifting, I just want to see if it can actually get to S2. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to swap in this. It's not going to be a good sounding car, though. I'm also going to swap on the big Forza Arrow and Forza Arrow. I do apologize. We will also get some slick racing tires. There we go. Top of S1 nearly already. And we're officially S2 class. Oh, my God. Now that I think about it, we basically made a BMW M4 GT car with, like, double the horsepower, but with the rear wing, it kind of looks like it. Okay, maybe the BMW M4 isn't as good as I think. BMW M4 versus... That's a Supra? Wait, what? What? Versus a Ferrari? I might have made a terrible mistake. Oh my god. Wait, what? Wait. I thought I was about to understeer so... Uh-oh. There's the understeer. How am I being beaten by that thing in second place? No way it actually turns. Look at it. Into the corner. There's obviously a little bit... Move! There's a little bit of understeer. It totally works! I thought this was gonna be undrivable, and I thought it was gonna be a meme, and I... Honestly, I really didn't want to even drive this thing. I just wanted to see if it would go to S2 class. The amount of understeer this thing is getting, I don't understand how that's possible. 1,300 horsepower, and all-wheel drive, and full aero. It should just be trying to go in a straight line. It should not be taking corners like this. I truly don't understand what is happening. Just keep going. Oh my god. It literally takes the corners flat. How? How? I don't break. You literally don't press the... <laughs> All right, I think the game would like to take back what they said about my M4 not being good. Back to default upgrade. I think you know where we're going. It is officially time to put the drift car to the drift car test. We are going BMW V10 because who doesn't love a screaming V10? We're going to keep it rear wheel drive, obviously. And you know what? Just because we can... Supercharged. Twitch chat really wants the ugly rear bumper for real. I mean, we should probably give it a go just to see what it's like when we're driving. But anyways, after all of our upgrades, 900 horsepower. Okay, I don't know why Twitch chat is all yelling at me to look at the roll cage, but apparently it does something. Wait, what? Um, we found a glitch with the BMW M4. I'm just gonna toss it on to see what happens. Oh my god, we broke the car. We fully broke the BMW. Why don't we start off with this one? 190,000 is my personal bet. Interior is $18 a month. M4 and into the drift zone we go. Let's see if this thing can really do... Honestly, what these cars are kind of built for, being an absolute laugh and a hoonigan. Come on. So keep in mind, obviously, it's not all-wheel drive. We're not going fully try-hard with it, but I'd be happy with, like, 160, 170,000 points, I think. We're on 140,000 already. This is just another really chill car. 160... And 170. The V10 is such a meme, honestly. And the fact that it actually kind of works, like, for sure. For sure you could get better results from the 2JZ. And like I was saying, all-wheel drive 2 would make your life a lot easier. But this is just kind of nice, isn't it? Like, it's, it's just kind of chill. It's so simple and easy to drive. Run the outside line there for maximum point. Oh, a little, little too wide there. Then run the outside line here. Can we get 200,000 points? It's going to be close. It's going to be close. There is 200,000 points. 212,000. I genuinely don't remember the last time where every build we did 
was a good build. Middle of S1. It was like perfect to drive. A-class off-road was really nice. Somehow S2 even worked. I'm kind of blown away by the little BMW M4 and just how good this thing is. I think without a doubt, it's probably one of the best driving BMW M cars BMW has made in the last little while. And at the same time, one of the ugliest.